hey guys welcome back in the course now you know we have created this uh, I mean registration form and uh, also we have validated it somehow uh, so we now want to insert the data into this table in the MySQL database we just forgot to change the user address from integer to text so I can change it from here and this will be text or varchar now it's okay so the final stage is in the source code we need to add actually some security here and the first function we will use is mysqli underscore real escape string this is a function that you can use like this first of all add this function to target this post array and inside the array there is a value which is coming from the user so we added mysqli underscore real scape string and first you have to add the connection then comma and then the same thing so what this function will does it will actually escape the script I mean will not insert the data into to the database uh, will stop the script when there is malicious code or there is you know strange kind of uh, code in the form coming because someone can attack your code or can uh, attack your uh, MySQL database with SQL injections so that's it I will copy this from here till here I will post it here and will add the another parenthesis here to this as well to this as well I need to actually validate all this is for security purpose to just being saved from bad guys so that's simple and nice So I have added the security to this. Now uh, we can do something more. No, it's okay right now. Now just at the end of this query, we'll say else. I mean, it, all the if statements are there. Now L in else situation we'll say insert is equal to now here we need to write something okay one more variable we need to make here that will be register underscore dead or we don't need this just remove it we can directly uh, insert of uh, data dead using a function so sorry insert into register underscore user that is the table name and inside the two parentheses we will add the names of the fields and inside the next two parentheses there will be values you have to add this values word as well so the first thing is user underscore name then comma then user underscore pass then user underscore email then user underscore country you have to add this you know accordingly then there is user number then there is user let me check user number user address then user gender then b underscore day then the, 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 the user image and then user underscore uh, register debt debt yes register underscore debt that's it these all are the fields inside that table now the next thing is just adding some single quotes single commas and 
in the first one we'll say the data will be coming from the username field in the next user pass and then in the next user underscore email and then in the next user underscore country and then in the next user underscore number and the next this is quite long query user address user gender and user underscore sorry birthday user underscore image and register date is the last one I think so here we will just say now we will use now function this is a function basically so this will add the current date to that field now it's okay fine all the data we are inserting using the local variables just once again check okay this variable is user underscore b underscore day so let me say user underscore b underscore day that's fine let's check it echo it once so we can see whether it's bringing the data or not because we are not yet running the query Abdul Ali Khan one two three email email will be cricketer i at yahoo dot com country Pakistan this and something this is my address mail and image register this email is already registered try another one oh my god we don't have that email here c at gmail dot com this is test this email is already registered sent that is not registered so very big problem select all from register user where user email is equal to this email okay check my SQL number rows is equal to oh sorry that is equal to one not zero it is equal to one then say I am really sorry we did a mistake there now Abdul Rehan123 and C uh, cricketer I at Yahoo oh, oh, oh my god sometimes we just make really silly mistakes registered okay insert into registered user this is in values are also coming perfect and great just the query is working nice and fine we'll remove the echo statement now we can insert this we can run this query basically I will say <coughs> run insert create a local variable and save mysql query and in this mysql query i will run first say connection and then insert now when this is done so in the next if statement this is basically nested if statement inside the else this is inside the else i say if run underscore insert is has been executed 
then just uh, you know I want to say something here using the JavaScript alert I want to say something here like uh, you know I can give them a welcome message the user registration successful welcome and I want to actually redirect the person to a page I have already there I want to redirect the person to this page window.open and inside this I will write two parameters the one will be the target of this window which will be self and the next will be that home.php so I actually need to copy that page I have that page inside uh, my one another folder uh, you know this is the page home.php need to copy this you need to put it in the php tutorials and then project this page home.php that's it nice I have done that that is a simple page you know this home.php page has some demi you know content and uh, page like so once again now let's check we'll say now there is all validation when you click this so you have to f fill all the fields and when you enter your details like Abdul Wali and password Wali Khan 123 if you don't need a correct email then there will be an error but if you hit ok email then this is fine and I will say this is my address mail my birthday is something between 1988 I mean my 6 that's fine and I will say my I will add my real email sorry my image so this is my image but we have not actually uploaded the image somewhere so we first need to create a folder here images and we will move the file the ob you know the file to this folder so we will use as you know move uploaded file function and this will have the first thing as this user underscore tempi tmp and then inside the two uh, commas inverted commas we'll say the folder name is images and the image will be this one user underscore image that's it we have done this as well now the image can also be there control is to save now come here and register click register registration successful welcome and welcome to this page sorry this is actually login.php anyways uh, this there is some logics inside this home page so we can open this home page and can just remove these logics later on I will tell you how you can add these logics to the page but for now I will keep it as simple it as it is but the user has been registered now once again if we enter the same user it will say this email is already registered so we can enter another one for example I will say John Doe and the password will be something like this John at gmail.com country USA and the phone number is that and the address is this this is the address and the person is male whatever the birthday is 
and whatever the hell the image is uh, register is successful okay and person has come to the home.php page if you want it looking nice and better then I will just go and copy the images as well I mean the images for that the images for that page just this is a test page you know nothing else nothing else just a simple page like this you know some users and something like a logout button and things like that so the person has come to this page or this site after they register and you can see uh, the users are now three in the table inside the mysql i mean php my admin we have the php database inside that we have this we created this new register underscore user table which has now more data so basically we can now after we have created this first of all let's go back here so this is the form we validated it now we we can insert we can register the user to or you know we can save the data inside the table now the next thing because this has been done now the next thing is if the person is already registered then they can actually log in so we have to create now the login system and then after that the logout system and then we will create a, an admin panel as well for viewing these all users like we did uh, in a previous section stay tuned